Over the last 12 months, Greyhound Rescue Wales and their Last Hope project have taken in and rehabilitated 10 injured racing greyhounds, who otherwise may have been put to sleep. Injury in greyhound racing is fairly common, and Alan Thomas and the team involved in the Last Hope project are determined to give every one of those dogs the chance to become a pet in a new home. There are thousands of dogs that retire from greyhound racing each year across the UK and without charities like Greyhound Rescue Reels, a lot of these dogs would have a very grim future. Um, we literally save the lives of thousands of them. The Last Hope Fund is a very special project. It was set up um, to save the lives of dogs who would otherwise almost certainly be put down. When a dog suffers a serious injury at a racetrack, it will mean the end of its racing career. Now the Last Hope Fund was set up to pay for that expensive treatment and make sure that Greyhound Rescue Wheels can take those dogs. And we've drawn a line in the sand and we've said that no dog that suffers that kind of injury should um, be put to sleep as long as we can pay for it through the Last Hope Fund. Former racing dog Zed suffered a career-ending injury and was taken in by Greyhound Rescue Wales. The Last Hope Fund paid for his treatment and Zed has now found himself a new home and a caring owner. Due to the care that he's received at Hillcrest and mainly the funding from the Last Hope Fund to pay for his operation, by the time I met him in the January he was practically fully recovered. I was asked then, could I foster Zed to get him used to living in a house, TVs, hoovers, on the basis that I would then hand him to somebody permanently. But by the March, no, sorry, by the end of February, it was a definite that Zed was going to stay with me. As he's wonderful, wonderful dog. It it's just real makes me realise it's heartbreaking how many of them don't get the chance. I know he's safe, but there's hundreds out there, it's a very common injury and there's loads that's not getting into the fund and getting saved sadly. He just loves life, he just can't believe that he just gets up, goes out, rain or shine, he's out for his walks, he's a big foodie dog, loves his food and he's just happy every day for the chance that he's been given instead of being put to sleep, last hope of giving him the chance to be a pet dog and loves every day. The charity have rescued thousands of dogs and Alan explained the condition that these dogs can arrive in. Some of them come in and they're perfect. The owners have looked after them well, they're in good condition, they've been well cared for, well exercised and they're well socialised. Um, at the other end of the scale we have dogs coming in in a very poor condition, perhaps they've suffered injuries and neglect. Those dogs take a lot of work. Um, they need to be rehabilitated and that's what our team at our Hillcrest Rehoming Centre do so well. I couldn't have imagined when we started Greyhound Rescue Wheels 25 years ago that we would have rescued almost 3,000 dogs and every time I see one walking down the street um, a lump comes to my throat, I've got to admit. The charity have made a huge difference to the lives of these dogs and for many they really were their last hope. Kieran Goldberg, That's TV.